Hi, my name is Travis. In this video, I'll be showing you how to extract cloves and cinnamon with vodka. These cloves and cinnamon have been sitting in this vodka wash for approximately seven years. In order to perform the extraction process, I'll first filter the plant material, then freeze the vodka wash. Next, I will de-wax the, uh, the very cold vodka wash, also known as dewinterizing with a Buchner filter funnel, um, in order to remove any of any waxes or lipids that have um, sort of congealed or precipitated out during the freezing phase. Uh, then we'll do an alcohol purge with a device known as the Source by Extract Craft. This is a closed loop ethanol extractor, similar to a rotary evaporator. And then the final step of the process, I'll do a final degassing uh, using this vacuum chamber. The first stage is to filter the plant material. I could have used the Buchner filter funnel for this purpose, but for some reason I chose not to. Instead, I just chose to use the coffee filter. It'll take a little longer because there's no vacuum pressure, but you'll still get the same result. Uh, so once this is stopped dripping, I'll put the, the I'll put some saran wrap on the top of this and put it in the freezer. I have about 90 milliliters of the vodka wash here, and it'll go into the freezer overnight. Before I go get the wash out of the freezer, I'm first going to put some uh, vodka in here, get the filter saturated with the liquid so that the, the suction works correctly and doesn't pull any of the liquid underneath the filter when I pour the wash in. I've just retrieved the wash from the freezer. It's uh, pretty well congealed. It's vodka, not ethanol. So there's less ethanol in it that, than if I was using 190 proof alcohol. And uh, it must have extracted over the seven years a lot of um, lipids or waxes. So I'm just gonna let this sit out for a little bit until it turns more of a liquidy consistency and then I'll put it through the Buchner filter funnel. I also have some advice in terms of the filter flask. This was the tubing I used. The wall on this tubing is very thin. It was crimping. I highly recommend going with a, a thicker uh, tubing and see how you can see I'm squeezing it right there. It's much light, less likely to crimp with this heavy wall tubing. This is the source by Extract Craft. It has the top lid and then the alcohol uh, recollection chamber and vacuum chamber. Uh, this right here is the, uh, the vacuum um, suction port. Uh, this is where the crucible goes, screws on, and I presume it also heats. Now I am not going to use uh, the crucible that comes with uh, the the device. Instead, I'm just going to put this glass beaker right on top of that metal, uh, the me metal bit. And I'm then going to push the green button once to put it onto normal mode. To help keep the beaker in place on top of the screw, I have this three inch diameter piece of copper that I place in first and balance, and then I can put the beaker on top of and it kind of rests. When I tilt the device back, sometimes the beaker will roll back, but it's still in the copper, so as that screw in there is heating up, 
it'll heat the copper up and disperse the heat so the beaker becomes a little bit uh, warmer than if the copper disc wasn't there. When you're releasing the, uh, the vacuum after the device is finished uh, evaporating and the alcohol is condensed in the collector here, and um, you can, I guess, I just unplug it, and then I don't know if that's the correct operating procedure, or you, you can just release the vacuum by turning it counterclockwise, and you wanna listen, listen for uh, a hiss and the complete uh, intake of air telling you that the vacuum has been released. Uh, the second thing to be aware of it is sometimes takes uh, a bit of pressure here on the lid in order to, uh, to in order for the, the seal to be created and for, the for this device to hold vacuum. Once I had this slightly, this rubber gasket at the bottom slightly out of place and that wasn't holding the vacuum, another time I forgot to actually fully close this, uh, this port. The other thing is to use the app. I highly recommend using the app that comes with this device uh, just to make sure you are, you, you know, you are achieving vacuum. If you don't achieve vacuum, then the vacuum will just continually start up. It's best to just monitor it on the app so you, you, know, you know that the, the device has achieved sufficient vacuum and you can walk away from it. Otherwise, there won't be sufficient vacuum and the vacuum will just continuously turn on. The, the feet in the front are higher than the feet in the back so that when the alcohol evaporates and collects on the glass, that it rolls to the back and then rolls down. The, there are two modes with this device. There's normal operating mode and then there's turbo mode. Turbo mode also goes to 100% vacuum, but a little bit more energy is put into the device. Device, it's my understanding that uh, the device heats just a little bit more and make the process all that much faster. This is the uh, final result after running the machine on normal once and then turbo four additional times. With the vodka that I was using, there wasn't as much alcohol, there was a little bit more water, so the process took a little bit more time and I had to use turbo mode uh, a few more times than I would have had to do it if I, if the, um, if it wasn't vodka and it was 190% ethanol. It's been sitting in the vacuum chamber for at least 24 hours, and this is the final product.